Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for the Lights Out Bedtime Story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. With a book called Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans. And tonight we have a super special shout out to two awesome listeners from London. That is Savannah and Allegra. Thank you so much for listening to the show. It wouldn't be the same without you. Now, this story is for you two. Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans. Once upon a time, in an old house in Paris that was covered in vines, lived twelve little children in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad and sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo-hoo! And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something's not right. Little Madeline sat in bed cried and cried, her eyes were red, and soon after Dr. Cohn came and rushed out to the phone, and he dialed, Dan Ton, ten six. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry, not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank on her bed. There was a crank, and the crank on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, Isn't this a fine day? to visit Madeline. Visitors from two to four read the sign outside the door, tiptoeing with solemn face, with some flowers and a vase. In they walked, and then they said, Ah! When they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster and she said, please, children, do tell me what's troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo-hoo, we want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. The end. Ludwig Bemelmans here on the Lights Out Podcast Bedtime Stories for Boys and Girls with the Out Alright Thank you for listening and if you're still with me that was a special reading Madeline which is a book first published in 1939 would you believe that? 
How old is that book now? Also, a beautiful little book. And the big shout out is for Savannah and Olivia from London. Good night.